Okay, this problem is a mechanism problem, not a predict the product problem. If it was a predict the product problem, you had this, you had HBr and peroxides, here is the product that I would expect. This is a mechanism problem where I show you a product, in this case, a minor product, and you have to draw the mechanism to that point. And this is a way of understanding and testing understanding of how intermediates work and what they're capable of. In this case, we're looking at radical intermediates. And radicals like to do a couple of different things. They like to combine with radicals, although this is quite rare. They like to pull off hydrogens and halogens. And they like to add two pi bonds. So keeping these in mind, Let's figure out how to make this compound. So, start out the mechanism just like you would a normal mechanism. Starts out by the peroxide splitting in two. And then this peroxide grabs an H from HBr and so far we're following the same mechanism that we would to get to the product. And so now let's go ahead and add that to our alkene and it adds to the less substituted side and it puts the radical right there. Now, let's take a sort of a step back and look at our molecule and look at where we are, where we are at. What we've done is incorporated one bromine onto the molecule, just like this. So let's go ahead and number this molecule. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's number this molecule. The carbon with the bromine on it is one, two, three, four, five, six. What we have that's new in the um, product that we're trying to get to is a new bond between 2 and 6. And so in order to do that, this radical would need to add to the pi bond. Well, that's what radicals do, is they add to pi bonds. So if you want to see that make this a little bit easier, what you could do is draw the product out So this is what we are trying to get to. And then just erase the bond that's being formed. That bond right there. And then we add in the pi bond here and the radical there. If we number it, we get this. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can see that this radical is right next to 6, capable of forming this bond. It 
carbon-carbon bond forming reactions usually aren't reversible, so I'll just erase that reversibility arrow right there. And we get that one right there. Okay. And we get a radical here. And then this radical grabs an H from HBr. And we get our final product. Now it looks like that radical is disappearing. What's really happening is there's one hydrogen attached to that carbon. Now there's two.